fire exits are located here and here. Please turn your mobile phones off. We hope you enjoy the show.
pool. I don't see the pool. Is it bigger than the Thames? Of course it is. You can't even see the other side. But we'll still see fields and cows and all that. I don't like cows. They're big with all they smell. How do you know? Have you ever seen one? Not a real one. Just a picture. They give you milk. Miss, is it true that in the country you get food without a ration book? I should think so, Dougie, because there's plenty of room to grow fruits and vegetables. I know. Let's take it in turns to name our favourite vegetables. I hate slimy cabbage. Yuck. <laughs> and I hate lettuce with slugs in it. Mash. Pie and mash. That's my favourite. Carrots are good, miss. They make you see in the dark. Vital pies have to have carrots every day. That's when they can see where to drop a bomb on the Germans in the middle of the night. Do they grow chips in Devon, miss? <laughs> I like of course they do. There'll be fields and fields of chip trees when we get out. <laughs> and it might rain vinegar as well. I have even heard there's salt, a massive box of salt on the side of every street. Don't be so mean to our Lizzie. She's only little. Our mum says. Your mum says a lot of things, Rosie. When we were at the station, she said, remember what I told you about the jam? What did she mean? <laughs> oh, miss, you set our Lizzie up now. If you mention M-U-M, it makes her cry. And if you keep going on about jam, we'll all cry. <laughs> we love jam. M-U-M says we'll have jam on our bread every day in the country. We made up a song about jam last night. Shall we sing it to you? That would be unlovely. <laughs> Sliding around in the dark. How about high tide? Where we get cut off? No one's been in a cave for years. 
Playing fancy games stuck in a cave with water coming in. All right, all right, I'm still working on the plan. Mr. Malt, we need to be more organised and have a decent plan. You should have joined the Home Guard. <laughs> and here they come. Platoon, halt! Stand at ease! Excuse me, Captain Kitchener, but will Eddie drink from the Spectin' I uniform? He might well do, Sergeant Wheeler. Do you think you'll notice my fat jacket? What have you got in there? Sixteen pairs of silk stockings, a dozen bars of coat, but I'm deadly happy to clear them out. <laughs> I found a cave down near Key where we can hide all this black market stuff. A cave? That's perfect. We're hiding all this gear down there after our meeting with Eddie Drake. I'll meet you at the key. What was that about the key? I'll do with my men if you don't mind, Grog. Now, what was I saying? About the inspection, Captain Kitchener. What's I? It won't take long to inspect our rifles, will it, Captain Kitchener? I can't get the brush off mine. <laughs> In the last war, when I was at the Somme, our rifles were... Oh no, not the Somme again. We'll talk about it with our proud regiment next. It never sounded all that pally to me. But then, we weren't there, were we? Because we weren't old enough. Wrong, we weren't there because we, we weren't born. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You are laughing me at call-up papers, my boys. It's no joke to fight the enemy. Never mind, we'll soon lick you into shape with our drill sessions. Drill sessions? Where? Here, in the barn. Where else? But, but... Oh, get over it, Mulch. As a war on. <laughs> Hang on to your gas mask, Mrs. Lovell. War's breaking out right here. Keep calm and carry on, everyone. Sorry, are we late for the meeting? May here has been teaching us the jitterbug. Shall we show you how to do it? Mrs. Eggy Drake has given us permission to use this farm for a dance. Hey, why don't I start some regular dance classes? Where? Here, in the barn. Along. I'll start next week. You'll soon learn. Watch! <laughs> Uh, putting this barn in this 
duration of the war. But there must be a... Rules? Daddy loves rules. Quite! <laughs> well, I mean, no. Oh, just let me give them the information. Rule one, this bath will become a schoolroom for all evacuees. You others must work around them somehow. It will be fine. <sighs> Rule two, the five evacuees sent to house will only be allowed to use the back door and the back stairs. They will sleep in the attic and eat their meals in the kitchen. Is that clear, Mrs. Lovell? I love them. Rule three, evacuees will be strictly forbidden to go near the front of the house. The front door is for VIPs only, so keep an eye on them, Mr. Mulch. If they stray, I'll blow my whistle, Mum. <coughs> Rule four. No evacuees will be allowed in the woods, but the pheasants must not be disturbed. Who are Tom Parker, the new gamekeeper? I will, Mum. Excellent, Harbour Master Grog, and your job is to stop these evacuees from getting into mischief down at the quay. You're right. We can't have them getting lost in the old smugglers' cage. Don't worry, I'm always on the lookout. And we will keep them away from the stables. Please hurry up. There is just one more thing. The teacher is called Miss Hilda Albright, and she will be a shining example to us all. That is so witty. <laughs> and she will make sure that the evacuees write a letter home each week. But because of my husband's important position in the war office, <laughs> because of my husband's important position in the war office, security is essential. Therefore, Miss Albright will read all letters before they are posted. Quite! Well, I mean, no. Uh, could my war office poster careless talk costs lives? Oh. Great slogan, Daddy. Quite! Well, I mean, no. Uh, that's my latest slogan. Keep calm and carry on. Great one, Daddy. Quite! Well, I mean, no, uh, not official yet. Mustn't give too much, uh, information. information. Quite! <laughs> but you are in charge of information. Quite well. I mean, no. Uh, not, not official yet. Don't want to jump the, uh, Done. Take cover! Keep calm, everyone! And get a grip, Mulch! Quite! Well, I mean, no. Um, right. I think we've made everything perfectly clear. Meeting over. Keep up the good work, everyone. Quite! Well, I mean, no. Stand by for the... Evacuees? Uh, Quite! <laughs> Those evacuees won't be getting much of a welcome, will they? Ah, oh, love them. At least we can look out for the five billeted here. And Mrs. Eggy Drake didn't put the farm out of bounds. They can come and have some fun with us. We all know what it's like to feel homesick. Too right. Ah, oh, love them. <laughs> <laughs> Miles. I know. The 
It's most for the caves down there, you know. You can't see those from the watchtower. Caves, eh? Interesting. <laughs> Where do you come from then, Parker? All over the place. Wait. Have you met any of that community from London yet? They arrived the day before yesterday. No. Why? Because five of them are billeted here at the house, and your orders are to keep them away from the pheasants. Don't worry, I'll be ready for them. What does that mean? It means the children will spell trouble. <laughs> what are you coming for now, Lizzie? Because I can't spell trouble, and that nasty man will try and make me. They're not very friendly traders, keep, are they? I wish we were billeted into the village for all the other kids. What's all that stuff about traitors and smugglers' caves? That grumpler talks about treason too. I think he means doing stuff like spying. Oh, it's fun. Let's play now. I'll go first. I spy with... No, Lizzie. We've got to finish the letter home to Mum and Auntie Peg. Tell them where we are. Make sure to use that secret code she gave us so she knows just how we're feeling. He told us to write jam today if we really like it. And jam tomorrow if it's just okay. But if we write no jam, she'll come straight down and rescue us. Let's write no jam then. <laughs> oh no you don't. My mum will have a fit if you write that. I think we should write jam tomorrow because we are okay. Aren't we? Yes we are. And I'm not leaving until I find more about that geezer from the watchtower. I reckon he really is a spy. Ooh, doggy. I wish Miss Albright did have to read our letter before she posts it. But she won't know if there's a secret message in it, will she? No, she won't. Clever old mum thinking up this code for our letters. Code? Yep, that's what it is. Spies use codes. Hey, Mr Churchill could use your mum's code to spy on it, love. Don't be so daft. There, I've written jam tomorrow, kiss kiss. Are you Dawson still talking about jam? Here, pass me that letter, Rosie. Whatever took you so long. We've already written our letters. I didn't mind as soon as we got it. Mum gave me a stamp so I could put it straight in the post box. But you posh lot singing the big ass has to show your letter to us all right, don't you? I bet the postman's showing mine through Mum's door right now. I love to see their faces when they read them. I miss my mum this much. I wish I could see her now.
you ask. What is our aim? I can answer in one word. Victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terror. Victory, however long and hard the road may be. For without victory, there is no survival. Cool. Newspapers weigh a ton. We haven't got enough for a medal yet. What have you got in your sacks? Waste paper from the ass. Miss Lovell, let's empty all the waste paper baskets. Are you trying to hide something, Lizzie? No, I ain't got nothing. Lizzie, come on, Lizzie, show us what you're hiding. Oh dear, I think I can hear old Parker coming over here to see if you can spell the word trouble.
become a barber? Leak. We've got proper work to do now. Come on. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing ground. We shall fight on the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Thank you. 
gone too. We haven't seen them for ages. Nor have we. Missing a vacuees? We can't have that act. I'll fetch Miss Albright. Yes, the vacuees are her problem, not ours. Pay attention, everyone. No one must leave the barn. Grog has seen lights flashing down at the quay. No one must leave. You heard it. Mulcher's orders. We have a problem, and we shall help sort it. Have you seen my husband anywhere? He's taken the VIP's back to station now. Let me pass. I need to look for the boys and Rosie. Sorry, mate. Orders, orders. Anyway, we not, might need to be back there at the farm this morning. Yeah. At PC level. Especially if you flash a night through the German invasion. We can't find Miss Albright anywhere. She must be out looking for those missing evacuees. And where are the home guard when you need them? With Grob, defending the key with their broomsticks. <laughs> It's Mum! Yes, I am happened to be passing by the station and bumped into them just as they were getting off the train. What I want to know is this. Why was you down at the station all on your own? Well, you were supposed to be up here looking after my Billy. Anyway, where is he? Quiet! <laughs> well, I'm in there. Uh, I was down by the station dropping off the VIP. And I bumped into them, so I gave them a lift. <laughs> but Mum, what made you come? We came because you didn't write a letter. We wanted them out the jam. And where did you see my Billy was? Miss Albright, you said they'd write every week. Oi, where's our Jaggy? And where's our Rosie? They've gone, Mum. Gone? What do you mean? Well, I... Up and up. 
Mr. Mulch, you knew about the smugglers' cage, didn't you? We heard you were thinking of turning into an errand shelter, so we thought perhaps you were the spy. But nah, it wasn't Mr. Mulch. Mm. On the way through the secret passage, we found some spying stuff hidden on a little ledge. So we thought may maybe Egg and Drake and his missus were sending the government's secrets <laughs> to the enemy. Preposterous! Quite well! I mean, no. Uh, steady on, boy. But it weren't either of them. We found this little case and a notebook. A notebook just like the policeman have. Ain't that right, PC Lover? <laughs> but I it could ever be you, PC Lover. <sighs> ah, Lover. We read the notebook and found out that the spy was someone with a brilliant disguise. Someone who everybody trusted. Someone who would never be suspected. Yes! Our spy is none other than our so-called teacher, Miss Albright! <gasps> Yeah. 